Hello beautifuls, welcome back to Lexi's Tarot Card Reading. Today I'm going to have another pick a card. I'm going to check what will their family think about you the first time you meet them. So the first pile that we have is the Santa Muerte Tarot deck. The second pile will be the Modern Tarot. The third pile will be the Witches Tarot. And I'll be using oracles to get extra messages. So, beautifuls, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you so much. Pile number one. If you chose the Santa Marta Tarot deck, this is your pile. So, let's see what will their family think about you the first time you meet them. Garden Angels and Spirit Guides, what will their family think about them? What will their family think about them? Garden Angels. For pile number one, what will their family think about? them what will their person's family think about them so we have the ace of wands what other messages can okay we have the ace of wands we have the three of cups the seven of swords clarify the three of oh this is the three of wands it looked like the ace of wands clarify the three of wands Okay, the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Super interesting cards here. And the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, what I'm getting here is that they, they, um, I'm, I'm getting quite a few messages here. Ultimately, what I'm getting here is that they feel like you are part of the family and they were searching for someone like you to join them and, you know, and be part of, part of their family. They, um, they will enjoy eating with you, having drinks spending time with you um, we also have the seven of swords and the knight of wands they may also feel like you will just be here for a limited of time or they will feel like um, they they don't want you to go they want to continue you know partying and spending time with you for some of you also, I feel like they may feel like there's a side of you that they don't know much, that they don't know well. They may find you somewhat like a player or very outgoing, someone who likes to party. Um, let's use the Kipper Tarot to get extra messages for pile number one. Guardian Angels for pile number one. How would their family see them? Their first impressions. First impressions. Wealthy man. So yeah, like I said, they feel like you got it going on. Um, they feel like you, you got money. You are well off. You know, 
uh, expectation. So, also, that's what they see that you could possibly have lots of money, that you are well off, that you they they feel like you don't need no one to help you. They feel like you're the life of the party. Um, so you will feel certainly welcomed. Let's get more messages and loved. How will power number one's family feel about first impressions about them? So I'm hearing they, they, um, you met, you will meet their expectations when you meet their family. Their first impressions of you is that you will meet their expectations. Okay, we have the seven of, seventh house. It says a change for the better is taking place in your relationships, both personal and professional. So, again, like I was saying, and then we have Mercury, which rules um, communication. There's going to be lots of good communication, you know, having fun, telling jokes. This says that your relationships will be getting better. So, I do honestly feel like when you meet this um, family, their first impressions is that they are happy to, you know, enjoy this time with you. And, you know, they are ecstatic to have you around. We also have conjunction, the open door. When astrology opens a door for you, walk through it with confidence. Okay. We have the 10th house. Changes are taking place with the parent or parental figure. Reach out and offer your support. So those are extra messages. Um, we have the sixth house, busy as a bee, transform your daily habits, fortify your body and boost your immunity. Okay. We have air, prick up your ears, surprising or important news is on its way to you. Alright, so an important message is coming towards you. Um, also what I feel about this is that you will like hear lots of things, um, very surprising things. Or they will feel like some things that you say are surprising. We also have I'm Koeli, trip down memory lane. Now is the time to clear out the outmoded ways of being, thinking, and feeling. So I feel like this family is kind of very traditional and um you will find that or there is something about you that's very traditional okay let's see what will power number one's family first impressions be towards them what is their first impressions about power number one guardian angels and spare guides give me a card please Okay, so we have two cards. We have King and Scribe. So again, it says, you know, a king and wealthy man. That could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Again, you ha he has the coin. This is similar, similar cards. So they feel like you got it going on. You have money. You're well off. Um, it says enlightened, benevolent leadership, benefiting benefiting those in your charge benefiting I can't speak right now I'm sorry benefiting those in your charge so um, again they feel like you're very um, humble you're very charitable very gracious very um, like giving you are very a very giving with your energy and then we have scribe light attribute preserving knowledge and information preserving knowledge and information and then over here we had um 
Now is the time to clear out molded waste. Yes, we, so like I was saying, this, these, um, these people will feel like you know, you have some deep knowledge and information. They will find you as someone who is um, very smart, wealthy, who may have a business and make money. And very loving with the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Y'all yeah, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But they will love you most definitely. They will feel very close to you. Let's see. What else can we get? For my pile number one. How will, what is what will be power number one's family significant fam uh, um significant other family's first impression okay we have two cards we have real merlet relationships be a friend or an ally belief and faith so belief and faith again something around religion tradition and then we have relationships with the number two like the two of cups they are going to find you very friendly they will want to you know be friends with you and have a good relationship we have legion friend or ally they will find you very easily to be a friend with they find you again like i was saying outgoing easy to hang out with they will right away accept you into the family garden angels and spirit guides How will pile number one's person's family impressions be? First impressions of pile number one's person's family. One card. Okay, so we have renewal and nostalgia. So they're going to feel like they've known you before. They're going to feel like you have, you know, grandma's favorite cooking recipe, cookie recipe. Like, you know, like there's something mysterious about you. We have renewal. So I feel like this person or these people will feel like you are a good listener, that you bring a breath of fresh air and um, peace and serenity into their lives and they're gonna find you very peaceful like something they've never had before like a change will come to circle like it was like they'll feel like it was meant for you to meet them And they definitely see you as one of a kind. Okay, beautifuls. So I don't want to prolong this reading. I'm going to get some um, oracle cards to see what advice we could give for you. In regards to the situation, guardian angels. What advice can we get? We have emotions are running high. And expect powerful change. And emotions are running high. So. I do feel like, you know, something karmic or some kind of evolution will come to transpire when you meet this family let's get you some wor words from your garden angels to re 
finish this reading. If you like this reading, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you so much for being here. Garden Angels, what words of inspiration would you like to provide at this moment? Okay, so we have, when I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. I am the dreamer of my dream. Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. Okay. I thank you so much for being here, and I hope you enjoy this reading. See you next time. Bye. Pile number two. If you chose the Modern Love Tarot deck, this is your pile. So I'm going to be using the tarot cards and oracles to check what will your person's family first impressions about you will be. Garden Angels and Spare Guides, what will pile number two's SO first impressions of them? B Guardian Angels give me six cards so we have okay that's too many what is pile number two's pile number two's okay the first card we have is the Queen of Wands so you could be a Leo Aries Sagittarius um they fight, they'll find you very fiery, very strong, athletic. Y'all could go to the gym or something. Um, they find you as someone who takes care of themselves. Um, they find you like, they see someone who's very ambition, ambitious. Their first impressions of you will be someone who's very ambi ambitious, ambitious. <laughs> ambition okay i can't talk sorry and very witty okay someone who's hard working we have the three of wands who's always you know traveling um having things to do planning stuff um you may have more than one job we have justice some of you could be you know a libra a uh, uh, leo taurus virgo libra Aquarius, Gemini, um, but they they find you someone who has their head on right, someone who has um, their future planned out, someone who's you know very organized, someone who may like school, the law. Um, for others of you, they find you, like, I see two sides here. For others of you, they find you someone, or there's two sides of you. They feel like there's two sides of you. You have a very professional side, and you also have a keep it 100 side. So you could go from 0 to 100 real quick. Okay. The next card we have is the five of wands. Okay. And you can see they're having a discussion. Um, like I was just in, in the world card. So they find you as someone that they cannot truly mess with. Because you will cut them off uh, right away. Okay. You're someone who keeps going. Who doesn't stop for nobody. Um, just a very fierce person person so we have the moon hidden forces are in play ask your guides to gently lift the veils and bring clarity to this situation we have cancer fertility surrounds you nurture your ideas and watch them grow you are safe and protected on this journey we also have let the light back in you have been you have grieved a loss long enough. It's safe for you to let go and move on. And then we have at the bottom of the bottom of the deck we have fire, ready to launch. Be bold and resolute. It is time to take action. So for some of you, 
this is a sad note besides this reading i feel like you have been through a hard relationship and your guardian angels are saying it's time to move forward um you could have been you know backstabbed played with lied to lied to and um they're saying it's time to end that cycle and pursue new endeavors let's see what is um the impressions of you for pile number two guardian angels what is their so first impressions their family's so's first impressions we have expectation and sudden wealth and unexpected income. Um, so they feel like you get money easily, like money falls in your lap easily. Um, they they may find you very lucky. They may find you quite introvert introverted. Someone who's always thinking and their thoughts. So they may find you kind of like deceptive because you could be someone who's shy. Um, they may feel like you have um, good family, people surrounding you. They may feel like you come from a good family background. Um, they may feel like you have um, good friends, a big family group, a big fat friend group, and um, community support, okay? Let's see what else. Let's get a card from here. What will pile number two is person's family and first impressions be? Relationships. Okay. Well, that's good, right? Relationships. So, they will, you know, and balance. Especially since we had the Libra card. But what I'm getting with relationships is that this, these, these, People's first impressions will be um, pretty good. You know, they will feel like you, if you're like meeting your, you know, fiance's family for the first time or boyfriend's family for the first time, they will feel like you are both are very in love and love. We have growth. And they feel like you yeah, fit well. We have harvest time. They feel like you yeah, fit well. They feel like you yeah, are one for the other. And they feel like you are someone who's still studying. You could be someone who's still in school. Who likes to read books they find you very smart okay let's use this deck over here to get more extra messages for power number two what would the person's family's first impressions be now um, I do have some negative impressions but i don't want to focus on that too much but you know it's not that so negative it's just that they feel like you may be you know a false person because you like to stay to yourself you know so they may feel like you have you know you're hiding you have in hidden intentions so we have the seeker and then we have this woman who's traveling who has a backpack on so they um they find you as someone who's who's um like i said very introvert introverted you know looking beyond after today you know always looking into the future you know that could be very you know daydreamers also they feel like um you they feel like 
you are missing something or you are trying to find something within yourself or you're trying to find yourself you know they find you very you know useful like your spirit is very useful you are adventurous someone who they may find you as someone who is just seeking something more profound in your life to complete you or just to um, enjoy okay it says light attribute of the seeker thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are so again they may also find you you know like I was saying someone who ha could have bad motives because um, you're the quite quiet kind and um, you like to listen and you like to absorb people's energy and um, comments and statements, you know, just to analyze them. Um, some of you could have Mars and Scorpio, but um, but it's on, it's not because you have bad intentions, but that's how you personally um, get to know people is by. Um, listening and just like doing very bit of talking and listening okay and um and you're always um just listening for the truth you know you're not you're not there to gossip okay that's what i'm getting so let's see Bull what will pile number two's SO family first impressions of them be? Guardian Angels. Okay, we got one card. Let me see. Okay, I think it flipped. Give me one. Okay. So we have. Healing unrequited love. Healing unrequited love. So, definitely, that's what I was getting here with the cards when I was giving you the extra message. Y'all are growing. Y'all are seeking. Y'all are learning. Y'all are having this um, awakening. Um, Y'all are going through this self-love journey. And right now, Y'all are going through this journey of healing, unrequited love, especially if someone, if you've been in a very hard relationship recently, well, that's how they see you. They see you as someone who's overcoming a very um, hard time or a hard relationship that you've been through. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have deep perspective. Just like I was saying, like they see you as someone who's just analyzing and just deep perspective, thinking. Like the hermit card and hermit mode, just, you know. We also have angelic communication. So they may feel like you are very spiritual. You may have communication with... Um, spirits you are connected spiritually to the other side we also have disease stress and negativity and we also have buttercup sweet surrender yes beautiful so with sweets of surrender i feel like they you they see you as someone who goes with the flow and with this stress and negativity i feel like like this goes with the unrequited love y'all have been through stuff um that's caused lots of stress and negativity in your life but then we have angelic communication in this yellow card which talks about you know having a connection with the divine so they've seen they it's like your your wounds are visible but are are um surrounded by light okay that's what i'm getting from um 
this message here okay they see you as someone technically like a, a wounded warrior okay someone I'm not even gonna say wounded but someone who is just you know in a journey of of discovery you know of getting to know yourself and others you know a strong warrior that's what I'm getting So let's get some advice to end this reading, Guardian Angels. If y'all like this reading, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so we have a new start is coming. So if you have been feeling, you know, stagnant, wondering when am I going to, you know, when is this going to, my schedule change, etc. Something in general, the energy. Um, your guardian angels are saying that a new start will be coming and you're very close to achieving your goal um, with this Givius moon at the bottom of the deck. So keep pushing, keep, you know, hanging in there. And you will achieve your goal. Let's get in a positive affirmation from your guardian angels. Guardian angels. Positive um, statement do you have? So we have my energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. We have my vibes speak louder than my words. Definitely your vibes. Definitely. They feel your vibes. They feel that the light that I was talking about. Okay. Um, we also have I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Aoi. I love it. All right, beautifuls. If you enjoy this reading, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you so much. Bye. Hello, beautifuls. Pile number three. If you chose Z, which is the roll deck, this is your pile. So we're going to see what is your um, person's, family's first impressions of you. Guardian angels and spirit guides. What is pile number three's person's first impressions, first impressions of them? For pile number three. Guardian Angels and Spare Guides. We have the Ace of Cups. So y'all could be a uh, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Or y'all could be dealing with the Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. They will find you very loving. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands reversed. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Y'all could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Yeah, I could have an animal. Let's see. And the world card. Okay. So, what I'm getting here is that they find you very stable. They find you very open-hearted. But they also see you as someone who um, keeps things close to them. Like your heart. Like... Even though you're loving, you keep you don't keep your heart on your sleeves with the strength card. They find you very strong and courageous. And they find you very fierce. And the world. We have the world here. The world under the nine of wands. So the nine of wands in the world. Yeah, I feel like they see you as someone who um, is ready to, you know, give anyone an opportunity in life, like a second chance. Some of you could be um, a mother of a dog, you know, yeah, you are animal lovers. 
Y'all may love nature a lot. Okay, they find you very, you know, earthly, earth kind. Someone who likes to be in the outdoors. Someone who may, you know, is very strong. Who likes to be out. Let's get a card from the Kipper. For pile number three, Guardian Angels. What the, will their family is owes first impressions be? So we have main mail one more card so definitely they'll, they'll want to put you as number one as someone who um, who they want in their family um, Uh, message of concern we have message of concern I feel like they just wouldn't want to leave like they wouldn't want you to leave their family I don't know why I'm getting that and we have Chiron the wounded healer although a deep and painful wound may ex be exposed a powerful healing gateway had has just opened and then we have Ascendant in the limelight, whether by marriage, pregnancy, or, or promotion. The spotlight is on you. It's your time to shine. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have Uranus. Electrifying energy surrounds you. Expect the unexpected and embrace change. Any loss or elimination will be followed by liberation so i i do have a side note if you're losing someone or something in your life um you will receive it 10 times better in the future like whatever you're losing you're gonna get more of it okay now um if you are healing from a breakup or a relationship something just not going well your guardian angels are saying that um it, it was um for the best and you may not see it now but you will um feel more liberated and you know cleansed and different so we have isolation so they may find you very nervous um they may with these other cards i feel like they they you know may feel like you've just gone through a struggle a hard relationship like these cards kind of look the same you know they feel they may feel like you're sad and you just want to be left alone for a little bit with this moon card it also talks about emotions and feeling deep so they may feel like, you know, with the moon card, you're going through a dark time at the moment or at that time, okay? Super interesting. So let's get more messages. Garden Angels for power number three. Um, mother. We have mother. And we have the queen of pentacles. So some of you could be mothers, um, you yeah, could be single mothers. They may have, they may see that you've um, been battling all these years. You've been, you, you know, have been the bigger person. You know, you've have, to, you've had to put on your pants. You know, like do the hard work. It says light attributes of a mother is nurturance, patience unconditional love joy and giving birth to life okay so yeah they like i said very earthly right we could see the green all over this card you know and um gaia gaia the spirit gaia is connected to earth the mother earth um
which represents someone who's very nurturing patient which represents all those um light attributes okay so if you do have kids they see you as a good mother or father or if you don't have kids they see that you are like a like a mother figure or your mother like okay so let's use this deck to get one more message guardian angels if you like this reading don't forget to like share and subscribe to lexi's tarot card reading and i thank you so much for being here guardian angels and spirit guides for power number three how will the person's family's first impressions be so we have spirit of cupid eros the spirit eros the spirit of cupid okay very very loving they find you very loving very kind someone who may you know put themselves first before anyone they may um we have Heather, Solitude, and di Diligence. So they see you as someone who likes to be alone or is always alone. Someone um, like who doesn't mind to be alone. We have Old Thought. So with Old Thought, like this is giving me vintage, vintage um, energy. Like um, old energy, you know, like um like um egyptian egyptian colors like this is giving me um what i'm getting from here with old thought i feel like they feel your energy and they feel like you are an old soul okay um, they feel like you are very wise, a very wise person who knows a lot, who's been through a lot. But I love this card, Spirit of Cupid. They find you like the goddess Freya, who is like Aphrodite, the goddess of love. Okay, very uh, sensual and um, loving. Okay, that's the energy that's their first impressions the energy that um spills out of you so to end this reading let's just get some advice from your guardian angels guardian angels and spirit guides give me some advice what do you need to release okay and conclusions are within reach. And at the bottom of the deck, we have believe in the impossible. Let's get you um, a card of uh, an affirmation card, or some words from your guardian angels to end this reading. If you like this reading, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Lexi's Tarot Card Reading. Alright, so we have this beautiful card. We have Hope is Conduit for Miracles. Alrighty, beautifuls. And the universe has my back. I thank you so much for being here. And if you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.